to the Dorjil Learning Hub. In today's episode, we are going to study about the Sommerfield's Relativistic Atom, atom Model. In the earlier episode, we have studied the Bohr Atom Model and the, we, there we met across a small drawback that is, it couldn't explain the fine structure of H-alpha line. To explain this, Sommerfield had proposed this mod, Atom Model and let us see this in elaborate manner. According to Sommerfield, he had given the theory like this. The electron in an atom are circulating in elliptical orbits with the nucleus in one of the four C. One focal point is one ellipse, two focal point is one focal point is on the nucleus of the electron in elliptical orbit. Then he proposed that the quantization rule in the orbital angular momentum is quantized energy is quantized this this will be hold hood for this model also and he had introduced two new quantum numbers one is azimuthal quantum number n5 another one is radial quantum number nr in the electron in the mari elliptical orbit la chuttum bodu adukku or radial velocity irukum that is represented as vr equal to dr by dt அப்போ அதுக்கு ஒரு ரேடியல் லீனியர் மொமெண்டம் இருக்கும் தட் வில் பி ஈக்குவல் டு எம்வின்னு சொல்லுவோம் எம் இன்ட்டு டிஆர் பி டிடி தட் இஸ் பிஆர் சிமிலர்லி இட் வில் ஹேவ் அண்ட் ஆங்குலர் வெலாசிட்டி வி ஃபை வில் பி ஈக்குவல் டு டி ஃபை பை டிடி விச் இஸ் பெர்பண்டிகுலர் டு த எபவ் அண்ட் த ஆங்குலர் லீனியர் மொமெண்டம் பி ஃபை வில் பி ஈக்குவல் டு எம்ஆர் ஸ்கொயர் in the d5 by dt which will be perpendicular to pr pr ke perpendicular aga irukum so keeping that in mind and we can have this as two equations we can find out that kinetic energy of the electron will be equal to pr square by 2m plus p5 square divided by 2m similarly the potential energy is which what we have already studied therefore summing up the total energy is given by equation number 3 all the three equations describes the motion of an electron in the elliptical orbits and the elliptical orbits will have a major axis a and semi minor axis b which were given by this equation number 4 square root of 1 minus epsilon square will be equal to b by a which will be equal to n5 by n where the energy of the electron in the nth elliptical orbit could be written by this equation after substituting the value of 1 minus epsilon square where epsilon is the eccentricity of the ellipse by substituting the values from equation number 4 one could calculate the value of en like this so this en value or this expression is similar to that what we have already derived according to bohr atom model and if we could draw the orbits of the electrons the shape of the orbit will be determined by the equation which we have already given in equation number 4 and there the azimuthal quantum number n5 can take only n different values and only n orbits will be there for example if we take the third orbit n equal to 3 n5 will also take three values starting from 1 2 3 so n5 equal to 1 n5 equal to 2 n5 equal to 3 so we have three values n5 can take three values for n equal to 3 and out of which sommerfield told one orbit will be a spherical orbit circular orbit and the other two will be elliptical orbits in the same way if we take n equal to 2 n5 can also take val two values 1 comma 2 therefore one is a circular orbit another one is an elliptical orbit if n equal to 1 
n5 will also be equal to 1 therefore only one circular orbit so sommerfeld in this manner explained the elliptical orbits of the atom so instead of one single orbit we have for n equal to 3 we have three orbits so similarly for second orbit we have two orbits because azimuthal quantum number is there based upon this he proposed the model the model will be like this the velocity of the electron moving in the elliptical orbit varies continuously therefore the velocity goes on increasing at the closer points of the nucleus it moves faster and at the slower points and at the far away points it moves slower therefore one could see the orbit and at the same time as the velocity varies the mass of the electron will also vary therefore the orbit will be as shown in the figure and this type of motion is called the precision motion or we can call it to be rosette so the electrons will move a rosette motion in the atom like this so if that's to be the case according to his concept the total energy of the electron will be given by this formula where alpha is will be equal to 1 divided by 137 which is a dimensionless quantity and this alpha is called the fine structure constant in this manner Sommerfeld had proposed his new atom model and now we can see how it explains the fine structure of the h alpha line i told already in the earlier episode what is h alpha line the transition of an electron hydrogen electron from the third orbit to the second orbit is called h alpha line that will be the first line of balmer series according to bohr he expects only one spectral line but after careful examination the scientists have observed three lines are there so how how comes what is the reason for that that's why the bohr sommerfeld atom model had clearly explained i told already that it in the, for the third orbit we have three levels and this is called the n5 quantum numbers azimuthal quantum numbers 3 1 3 2 3 3 and these are called azimuthal quantum numbers n equal to 3 n5 equal to 3 1 3 2 and 3 3 Similarly, for the second orbit, we have 2, 1 and 2, 2. n equal to 2 means 2 azimuthal quantum numbers. Therefore, there are 6 possible transitions as I had mentioned here. From the graph, one could see 6 possible transitions. But, what is our observation? Our observation is we have only 3 lines. So, he had given a selection rule for the azimuthal quantum number. When the, whenever the transition occurs, the difference between the two quantum numbers must be equal to plus or minus 1, then that transition will be allowed. Rest of the transition will not be allowed. Rend level kedal ola vithyasam plus 1 ahuvo, minus 1 ahuvo irindal mattum dhan, and that transition will be allowed. Otherwise, it will not be allowed. In this case, 3, 3 le rende 2, 2 ku varumbodhe, in the 5 3 minus 2 equal to 1 plus 1 therefore this transition is allowed either one then on the continuous continuous line la portrait 3 3 layer in the 2 1 kvara kudya transition a path of the engine 3 minus 1 equal to 2 up in the transition is not allowed another dotted line la portrait represent panirk adhebola 3 2 layer in the 2 2 kvandhing and not difference 2 minus 2 equal to 0 selection rule so this is not allowed on a 3 2 2 2 1 2 minus 1 1 therefore this is allowed similarly in the line in the line one allowed in the line one day allowed to cut therefore we have only three transitions therefore three spectral lines here crede hatch alpha spectral lines a summer field atom model mikha elimia hai nama kena say the villa i hope my dear students you would have understood the bohr sommerfeld model. Thank you for listening. Thank you.
இந்த வீடியோ உங்களுக்கு பிடிச்சிருந்ததுனா லைக் பண்ணுங்கள் ஷேர் பண்ணுங்கள் இதே மாதிரி நிறைய வீடியோஸ் பார்க்கணுன்னா டார்ஜில் லேர்னிங் ஹப்பை சப்ஸ்கிரைப் பண்ணுங்கள் மறக்காமல் அந்த பெல் ஐக்கானையும் கிளிக